Hotties. Okay, today we are going to be talking all about weird products that do not work. Now, I did a video a couple of months ago talking about weird beauty products that I loved. I will link that video in the description box, probably somewhere here, or there should be a card that pops up, I think on this side. But actually, if I was flipped, so it really would be on this side. But you guys will see that video somewhere. And those were like really weird beauty products that I absolutely love. Today, we're gonna be talking about weird beauty products that just did not work for me. Now, I have to put a disclaimer out there just because these products did not work for me does not mean that these are bad products by any means. Just like think about it. If you put, you know, 100 people in a room and you gave them the same product, everyone's gonna have such different opinions about the same thing. And it's exactly the same with these products. Again, this is just my opinion. Please don't get mad at me. Uh, but I just want to put that quick disclaimer out there. Okay, before we get started, one thing really, really quick. I almost forgot, but I do want to tell you guys my lipstick again. I'm really, really trying to make an effort to tell you guys which lipstick I'm wearing in every one of my videos because so many of you guys ask. And this combo, I'm living for. So the lip liner is from Jouer, and this is in the shade Sable. Kind of like the everyday go-to lip liner, this guy right here. And then the actual lip color is very interesting. And this is from Buxom. This is called the Pow Pillow Pout Creamy Plumping Lip Powder. I don't really know if it plumps my lips, but it is a lip powder. And I'm like shook the how well this works. So it looks like this. And the powder, can you guys see, is actually right in here. And so every time you close it, you get more powder. And the color is so beautiful and these don't claim to be long lasting but for me they last a really long time so i really like this oh by the way i didn't even tell you guys the color the shade is so spicy now let's get right into the products that did not work for me okay so the first thing is this guy right here this is the bliss jelly ball cleanser and this is so gross because i have been saving this to do this video for such a long time that it has now like shrunken and it's this weird shape but basically, this is like a jelly ball cleanser that you're supposed to wet under the tap and then kind of like massage all over your face. It's super gimmicky. It's like a very strange product. Bosha actually also has one like this, like a charcoal one as well. Um, but this one actually made me break out a lot. So I don't like this just because my skin did not react well to it. But this does have some good reviews. So that just goes to show you it's just personal preference. Okay, the next product I actually can't even demo for you guys right now because I'm missing a battery and the back piece. But this is a product called Juva Lips. And this is basically like a lip plumping product. You basically just put it in your mouth like this, hold on the button for I think like a few seconds or a few minutes, and it's supposed to plump your lips. Now I will say that this works. It definitely works because when I like removed this, my lips genuinely looked larger than they were, which I was so shocked about. I was like, when I first saw this, I was just like, there's no way this is gonna work, but this works. The only thing is it hurts really badly. Like I did it for the first few seconds or the first time and I didn't really notice a difference, so I tried it again. And the second time, the suction was so strong that it actually genuinely hurt. So for that reason, I don't really like this and I just think it's like very awkward to use and hold and I'm not into it. Next product is probably the weirdest product that I'm going to be mentioning in today's video. And this is what it looks like. This is the outer packaging. This is the Cos, Cos RX. I think that's how you say the brand name. Blackhead Silk Finger Ball. And yes, these are real silk warm cocoons and this is what they look like. Basically, you're supposed to kind of put these underwater for a few seconds and then put the actual cocoon on your fingers and kind of like massage it to get rid of your blackheads. Nothing happened for me. My skin felt a little bit softer, but my blackheads were still there. Um, I don't know if this is a product that you're supposed to use every single day to, to see results, but I didn't. I only used it like once or twice and I did not care for it whatsoever. Okay, moving on to another product that did not work for me, but I feel like it didn't work for me because I'm not doing it right. Because I have seen some pretty like mixed reviews on this, but I just could not get it to work for me. And that is the Flirt Flashes Lash Applicator. And here's what it looks like. Where you're supposed to use it 
is you're supposed to roll this little thing. Hopefully there's some lashes left. Oh yeah, right there. Um, and then you go ahead and you can see, if I maybe put it like this, you can see the little lashes coming out right here. You put your lash glue there or you can put them close to your lash line. Trust me, I tried both ways. And then you're supposed to basically just go like this and just drop it. Now, of course, as I'm filming this video, this actually worked, but you guys, every other time that I've used it, this does not work. Like, of course, right now, when I do this on camera, it works perfectly. Let me just try one more time, because I'm like, what did I do differently this time? See, it kind of like, what was happening every time I used it was like my actual lashes were getting in the way and then it would just get stuck like this. And it was just kind of like annoying to use, to be honest. I would much rather just use individual lashes, which are so much easier for me to use and apply on my lashes or strip lashes, which I do every time I do my makeup. So overall, this was just a huge pass. It was very gimmicky and required a lot of effort and didn't really perform. Okay, now this product I was so excited about. I was like, oh my God, this is going to work and change my underarm game, but it didn't. This is the La Vanilla, the Healthy Underarm Detox Mask. And this is a brush on mask for your underarms. It's supposed to refresh that area and kind of just like whatever a face mask can do for your face, do for under your arms. I will also list some of the benefits and claims that this makes right here on the screen so you guys can see for yourself. Um, but this did absolutely nothing, like absolutely nothing. And it's kind of also awkward laying there with your arms up. And even when I washed it off, nothing really happened. I didn't really see any difference with my underarms. So for me, this is a very gimmicky product that just didn't work. Okay, I think that's really it for all of my, I actually have one more like weird product. Um, and then everything else is just going to be product fails, which I will like breeze through really quickly. So the next weird product that did not work for me is the NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. And I did mention this in a video a while back. If I can find that video, I will link it below. This is a very unique primer. Like, do you guys see that? It is very, very like jelly type consistency. Um, and it is very, like it's definitely on the sticky side. So here it is on the back of my hand. And it's not that this doesn't work, I just did not overall care for the consistency of this product. Like when you really massage this into your skin, it does completely like disappear. Uh, but it leaves like a weird film on your face that I just overall did not care for. I did use this like two other times after that video and then I decided that this just was not for me. Okay, so I think that's it for all of my weird beauty products. Now let's go ahead and quickly talk about random beauty products that did not work for me for one reason or the other. And the first two kind of work like hand in hand. So let's just quickly talk about these. Now you guys know I love my Derma E Vitamin C Serum. That is one of my favorite Vitamin C serums I've ever used. Right now, if you guys are wondering, I am using the Dior Glow Booster. I like this, but I don't love it. I feel like there's definitely better vitamin C serums out there. But anyway, point is, I love the Derma E Vitamin C Serum. So I thought for sure that I was going to love this product because I love vitamin C, I love Derma E, and I love micellar waters, and I use them every single day to remove my makeup. But this product just did not work for me at all. Now this is the Derma E Vitamin C Micellar Cleansing Water. And I used a lot of this, you guys. I used half of the bottle and oh my gosh, Kobe's hair right on the bottle. Now this does an okay job at removing my makeup. It doesn't do the best job, but it does an okay job. But other than that, I just don't think that this product worked with my skin type because it didn't irritate the skin. But I did notice like a little bit of like a texture on my face. And the only new product that I introduced to my skincare was this. So once I swapped it out, my skin went back to normal. So it was definitely this, I think. So for that reason, this just wasn't my favorite. But again, I think that's very, very like specific to me because of my skin type. But another product that kind of goes hand in hand with the micellar water is this cleansing balm. And this is from a brand called Elmis. I've seen so many people rave about this. Like on Instagram, so many people have demoed this, so many people rave about it, but it just did not work for me. And I used quite a bit of it. Like I really gave it a good shot. Um, but I decided after using it this much that I don't like this. 
And the reason why is that it irritates my eyes. It works really well to melt your makeup from your face, like just here. But if you get it close to your eyes, because there's like a minty, lemony scent to this, not a lemony, definitely like a minty scent, that irritates my eyes. So for that reason, I don't like this. Right now, I'm using this amazing makeup melt from It Cosmetics that I freaking love and cannot recommend enough. And that you can get all up in your eyes and really go like this, nothing happens. With this guy, don't even try it because it will irritate your eyes, at least it did for me. Now, these are not bad products. The formula is not bad. I'm not talking about all that. I'm specifically talking about the white cast it leaves on my skin. So I'm gonna start off with this guy right here. This is the e.l.f. Beauty Shield Antioxidant Enriched Skin Protection. And this has an SPF of 50, which is very high. But you guys, this literally made me look great. So here it is on the back of my hand. And even if I keep blending it out, like the white cast never goes away. Like I'm really, really massaging this in, right? You guys can see that. Still, there is that white cast. Now imagine this on my face. So for that reason, this guy is in here. And then it's the same thing with um, these products right here. So this is from Origins and you guys know I freaking love Origins. Their skincare is amazing. I'm actually, I just recently switched to their um, eye cream that everyone raves about and I get the hype, it's so good. But these products, and I told their team this as well, I just did not like because it leaves a white cast. So this has an SPF of 30, SPF of 40. This is a tinted moisturizer. But again, the white cast is out of control, you know what I mean? Like this is better than the e.l.f. one for sure, but even when you like really massage it in, <laughs> it's still there. So it's definitely not made for anyone that's like my skin tone or darker. Okay, next up I have four different highlights that did not work for me. The first one is actually what has made this entire bin into such a hot mess because of the packaging. Now I'm not talking about the product itself, I'm just talking about the packaging because the packaging is a mess and I'm sure that they have addressed this because I did see that other people have the same exact issue. Now this is from LA Girl, this is the Luminous Glow Illuminating Powder and this is not broken by any means, but I don't know what it is, um, but do you guys see like how much product is just like falling out of this thing? It's so crazy, it makes such a mess and oh, this is just, I can't use it because of the packaging. So the next highlight that I didn't care for is this guy right here from Milani. I love Milani's highlights. You guys know that. I actually have a video on my list of like a full face of Milani because they have some amazing products. I feel like if you're lighter than me and you prefer a more like pearly, pinky highlight, you might like this. Um, but this for me just like was not my favorite. Here's what it looks like on the back of my hand. It doesn't even show up and that's kind of like the problem. So here it is swatched. It's extremely powdery looking. And when you apply it on the skin, like it just doesn't show up for me at all. Like, do you guys see it? Let me just apply a little bit more. You can kind of finally see it now. Um, there's definitely like a little bit of a glow. I do see it in person, but on my face, it's non-existent. Also have this guy, same exact issue. This is the Revlon Peach Glow Highlight. Um, I've tried another shade, I think, of this from Revlon, which worked okay, but this one, like, does not show up on me at all. It just, like, literally disappears, and it also has, like, that weird powdery consistency. So same issue here. Okay, and the last highlighting palette that didn't work for me is from Cover FX, and I freaking love Cover FX. You guys know that. But this palette I found to be more on the powdery side. These colors definitely show up. Let me just show you guys this one because this is like my favorite color from this palette. This is a beautiful shade, and you guys will see that it definitely shows up, um, but it's still like very powdery looking. I don't know why, like if you guys can see that or not but it is super powdery looking. Um, here is the pinky shade. And I don't know, it's just not as smooth as I'm used to with my highlights. So for that reason, I didn't care for this either. Okay, the next product, you guys, I think I'm the only person in this world that does not like it because this has won some awards. Everyone loves it and I think this is Goop's best-selling products or like one of the top three best-selling products. 
but this really clogged my pores. And this is the Replenishing Night Cream. Now, here is what it looks like. It's definitely got like a, like a bomb consistency. So you apply it, it looks like a cream, and then you really just like massage this in your on your skin and it completely disappears, which is nice. It's just like really, really clogged my pores and I broke out from this and you guys know I have really tough skin, which is why I'm always trying new skincare products and I'm usually good, but this really made me break out. I used it I think for like three days in a row and my skin was just like, nope. So unfortunately, this did not work for me. Okay, next up we have this guy right here from Becca and this is the anti-fatigue under eye primer and this is what it looks like the packaging is gorgeous of course it is Becca this to me you guys is just like a product that I was like why am I even using this because I saw absolutely no difference in my under eye area after using this so basically you're supposed to go like this must like apply it underneath your makeup or as part of your nighttime skincare routine and like it says this is anti-fatigue it's supposed to have these amazing under eye benefits did not work Plain and simple, did not work. All of the Lacme products were a huge, huge, huge fail. I'm normally not a negative person, but it is my job to talk about products sometimes that just don't work. And unfortunately for Lacme, I really wanted to fall in love with at least one of their foundations, but not one of them worked for me. The only one that worked for me was in the compact, the powder. Everything else was just too light, which is just, such a shame because India, like Indian people come in all different shades, right? Like they're very fair Indians to very like deep dark Indians to everything in between. And it just sucks that Lakme doesn't have products for all of those skin tones. Um, so that's why this whole brand for me is unfortunately a fail because they do have some amazing products, but overall I can't support them. All right guys, I'm back with my last three product fails for today. I have so many more, but I'm gonna save these for the next video. Um, the first thing I wanna talk about are these liners from Revlon, and I have a black and a brown in this. This is called the Liquid Liner Tracer. No, Color Stay Exactify. That's what this is called, and basically, this is an eyeliner with a little disc on the tip to make it super precise for you to line your eyes. Now that's a very precise line, I will say that, but when you're doing it on your eye line, like it just does not work. I don't know, I feel like if you're gonna do a liquid liner, you need a point, at least I do, and this, I didn't care for MAC, and I don't care for Marblon. Okay, I have one more product, actually I think I have three different shades from the same product, and this is the Milani Stay Put Brow Pomade Pencil. And basically, like the pomade that's usually in a little pot, this is the pencil version of that. But you guys, I did not like this at all because it is just a little too creamy. Like, do you guys see that? I want, let me show you guys the eyeliner or the eyebrow pencil that I'm really liking. This is from NARS and this is called the Brow Perfector. And the reason why I like this pencil is because it's, very dry and hard so when you go ahead and like create your eyebrows or like when you fill in your brows it's literally mimicking tiny little eyebrow hairs it's really easy to do that with this and it stays put all day so I love this but this guy right here is so creamy that when you fill in your brows it just makes it into like a really just like a mess at least for me so I didn't care for these at all. This is going to be the ultimate shocker because I love the translucent version so much, but this one, I did not like at all. This is the Derma Blend Illuminating Banana Powder, and you guys know I love, love, love my banana powders, but I don't like this. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the formula of this versus the translucent one, which let me quickly go grab that really quick. Okay, just so you guys understand, I love the translucent one so much that I actually have two of them. These are some of my favorite translucent powders I've ever used, and you guys, I know I need to do a full video on translucent powders because I love translucent powders so much. Like, I have definitely a thing for them right now, and these are some of my favorites. But the formula on the banana, in my opinion, is different. Whenever I dip it in here and go underneath my eyes, 
I have found that this powder just like sticks in one place and kind of messes up my makeup more than like illuminating it or fixing it. It just makes it more, it just like kind of messes it up. I don't know how else to say it. So for that reason, I don't like it at all, but I will 100% always, always recommend the translucent one. You cannot go wrong with these guys. All right guys, that's it for today's video. I know this was a really long one, but hopefully you guys found this useful or at least enjoyed it. Again, I do wanna say this one more time that just because these products didn't work out for me does not mean that they are bad products. Everyone is allowed to have an opinion and I'm just sharing my honest opinion about these products with you guys. Please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and actually on all of my socials. I will list them all on the screen and in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. Mwah.